Hello, Kanari here from Sinkhole, here to talk about Planetside 2. To start off, Planetside 2 is an MMO FPS. There are three different factions fighting to control three different continents, uh, so the objective is to pretty much kill your enemies, capture the bases, and defend your own bases. For an easy comparison, um, I compare it to Battlefront 2, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, where it's like a bunch of people fighting to control bases, you know, like how you did a, or how you do in that one game. But the difference is the people are actually just as good as you, and you're not just going against mindless computers. So the three factions are the uh, Venue Sovereignty, the New Conglomerate, and the Terrain Republic. The difference between the factions are the uh, weapons they start out with. You'll often see me be playing the new conglomerate because I like their sniper set the most, but you'll have to uh, play the game and test them all out for yourself before you actually choose. It's not a huge deal if you uh, pick the wrong team, but they're because there's in-game credits I get by playing and uh, buying the uh, guns from the game. So I'll show you the setup inside the game right now. Let me just walk to the destination. Okay, going, going, going. okay, so at first this is the um, world map. World map? Well, you get to select your uh, continent you want to go on uh, from here. If you do not like the continent you're on right now, or you want to meet up with a friend, and you know. Um, the little circle will show you how much control each faction has at the moment, so that might help decide which one you want to go to. Running. There's two of them in here. This is where you get to choose um, which class you want to be. Um, there are six different classes. The Infiltrator, which is a sniper and he can turn stealth, and he's a hacker. He's pretty chill. I like him. <laughs> the Light Assault, Jetpack person, he can shoot, have her medic, he heals people obviously, what medics do. Engineer sets turrets, uh, repairs buildings, I'll show you that later. What buildings, all that, yeah. Heavy assault, he has an extra armor and shoots, and max, I've never used him, but you um, buy him with in game infantry money, which you get really easily, and he's just an OP machine guy. So, running, running to the tanks. Yes, you could get vehicles in this game, it's pretty sweet. Um, so, I'll show you the vehicles. Yeah, I'm not going to try to name these off. Anyways, uh, yeah. There's uh, different attachments you could put on. You could buy them with in-game money you get also. Uh, I'll point these out later. Gonna head over to the helicopter fort. Yes, there's even flying vehicles in this game. The map's so giant you could use all of these, uh, but yeah, here they are. You could put attachments. There's other there's one other air vehicle. But I was unable to find it in this area. So here is the menu. So here's a map that you're on the uh, continent. And uh, you could see um, it shows all the uh, which territories we own on blue, so that's where I'm at right there. Uh, and it shows you in that little pie chart to the left how much how much we own of each section. So uh, yeah, you'll see that. This is your profile. It shows you how many points you have. That's in-game currency which you buy weapons with. All the way up there, that little orange circle. Um, Right, no, I just put my cursor over there. Back to the map. Um, I already told you about what the little pie charts are. I'm um, on the top right. It shows you how much control each, or not control, how many people are logged on for each faction. And uh, if you have a disadvantage, it shows you uh, how, or it gives you um, little bonuses, which is nice. It it makes the game even. Um, those little areas I'm switching through right now are um, battle zones that are having having fight. Red means there's a lot of fighting, orange means not a lot, or medium, yellow means mid, moderate. 
Um, you could deploy, which is that green deploy button, making you go straight into the action, and then you could, uh, when you die, you respond in bases around there if you capture any, any of the bases. So yeah, that's that. This is your um, menu for uh, your classes. There we go. Got that out. <laughs> so um, these are your weapon sets. Or yeah, your weapon sets. Um, you go to go to search. Just showing you the stats. That's where all your stats for your, your weapons are. And this uh, shows you all the upgrades you can get for your weapon if you want to get them. Um, each scope has different effects. Abilities. There we go. Diff no, that's not even the right one, but. And then there's uh, different things you could attach with that. Going. Hmm. There we go. Going back. Found it. <laughs> you could, uh go uh, get some boosts also for different um, things you want to. Showing you what boosts you can get. There, so yeah, there's a lot of customization in this game and you don't need real money to improve yourself, make yourself better in this, which is awesome. Um, you could get everything through in-game currency besides um, your appearance. Cosmetics, there we go. <laughs> See, I know words. It just takes me a second to remember them. So, uh, yeah, you could uh, get boosts, which you get from money. You have to spend real money for boosts, and that's appearances right now, I'm showing you. So boosts are that ye little yellow thing, and it gives you like times two experience, times t things like that. So yeah, there's um different sniper rifle. You could also get different snipers or different weapons depending on what class you're pick picking. Um, you just click on the uh, weapon you want and buy it. You see that little yellow thing in it? I'm just showing you what the snipers are right now. There are also your secondary weapons which um, I have a pistol you could get new attachments for that or you could switch it completely if you want it. Vehicles you could uh, get boosts and attachments for these also if you absolutely want to if you decide to just drive around with a friend or mun mun munch uh, many friends you could uh, just upgrade uh, your vehicles, make them stronger, easier to kill people, which is fun. So now the social tab. Um, there are squads which you could join really easily, all you have to do is click join and you're part of the squad. Um, the squads are pretty much just a place where you talk to your team and uh, make plans on what you want to do, so if you want to like Flank the backside while another squad, there's multiple squads if you only like units, there's different units. And um, while another squad goes in straight forward, you could do that, you just you could do all your planning here. If you want to decide to like make or get a giant vehicle that fits seven people, you could um, tell everybody to meet you at one place and just pack in there, drive through a uh, drive to uh, someone's base and then just destroy, or you get destroyed depending on how good you are. Um, outfits, it's pretty much like clans or guilds. If you know what those are, um, you just a big social area. You could also make plans there. Friends, obvious people you know in your life, or if you wanna, if you like people you meet. Um, there's also voice chat in this game where you uh, could talk by clicking different. It changes for me right there where I'm highlight or put my cursor over. It tells you which button it is to um, talk. And heading over to the last tab. I skipped one, I know, but it's not important right now, it's just your information. So, this is where you uh, look at all the in game, not in -game, yeah, anything you can get in game uh, with real money or in game currency. So, like, here's the weapons you can buy with the orange circle that you get from in game, and uh, or you could buy them with real money. It, it's cool that you could buy anything, it just takes a lot longer when you're trying, or when you get it in game. But it's not too bad. I got 86 in like two days of not playing constantly. 
here are all the cosmetic things, cosmetic gear, that you don't need to buy it just, just for looks, it doesn't improve anything. So yeah, there's also um, in-game, or a turret you could get with in-game money and real money for vehicles, cosmetic vehicle, things for vehicles also. Um, boosts. So I already talked about those. You could um, buy these with or boost with the real money if you want to. Helps you um, level up quicker and all that good stuff if you want to. So the sinkhole will be making gameplay videos and our review on how it runs, how the game runs, pretty soon about this game. Um, the notifications will be on the video right now if the videos are up. If they're not. Please wait and enjoy, subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Knara out.